Suzanne Somers, the iconic actress, author, and wellness advocate, has passed away just a day before her 77th birthday. Her death comes after years of battling breast cancer. Suzanne, best known for her roles in Three's Company and Step by Step, reportedly died in her sleep in her new all-green home in Palm Springs, California, with her loving husband Alan Hamill by her side. While the couple had moved to their new ecological oasis quite recently, they had lived in Palm Springs for many, many years. In fact, they sold their longtime comp there in 2021 for $8.5 million, which was made up of four separate villas along with a main house and features like a dramatic dressing room, outdoor shower, waterfall fed pond, an amphitheater made of rock walls and more. Suzanne Somers, who has been a fixture in the entertainment industry for decades, has passed away at the age of 76 following a long history of breast cancer. Her publicist released a statement on behalf of her family, which said, Suzanne Somers passed away peacefully at home in the early morning hours of October 15th. She survived an aggressive form of breast cancer for over 23 years. Suzanne was surrounded by her loving husband, Alan, her son, Bruce, and her immediate family. Her family was gathered to celebrate celebrate her 77th birthday on October 16th. Instead, they will celebrate her extraordinary life and want to thank her millions of fans and followers who loved her dearly. Suzanne passed away at her green eco-friendly Palm Springs residence with her husband by her side. The couple love this part of California, having lived there for decades. Suzanne's homes in Palm Springs were a testament to her personal style, creativity, and love for the desert. The couple had lived in their former Palm Springs home since 1977, but had turned a home nearby into an ecological dream property, which is where Suzanne lived until her recent passing. Her husband said before they moved into their latest home, we're using this new construction as an opportunity to make everything as green as possible. Even though I am not one of those greeniacs, we're making sure the air quality is balanced and perfect and even the drywall doesn't have all those chemicals. It's also said that the couple installed solar power, an organic garden, and other eco amenities. In 2021, Suzanne and Alan finally found a buyer for their longtime compound in Palm Springs. They had listed it for $8.5 million in January of that year after attempting to sell it a few times over the years. Once in 2013 and a few years before that as well. Sommer said about her former home, it sold because I finally let it go. Emotionally, spiritually, and physically, it wasn't the right home anymore. Suzanne's former village-like compound was situated on a hillside in the Mesa neighborhood just south South of downtown Palm Springs, California, a desert city which is known for its hot springs, luxe hotels, golf courses, and spas. Suzanne and Alan purchased this legendary compound decades ago after they tied the knot as an escape from their main home in Venice, California, and they happily lived here for over 40 years. Spanning 28 acres, the beautiful property has a unique layout with four individual villas and a main house which Suzanne spoke about in the past. It's a great home for having guests because they can each go off to their own cottages at the end of the day and have privacy. According to listing materials, this property is known as one of the most prolific estates in the Mesa neighborhood, and it spans 8,826 square feet of space with eight bedrooms, nine full baths, and two half baths throughout. The spread is accessed by a private funicular that carries you up the hillside from the parking spaces below the main house, and the interiors are decorated both lavish and eccentric. The house is a masterpiece of design, blending contemporary and Mediterranean influences. With stunning views of the surrounding desert and mountains, it offers a perfect blend of luxury and relaxation. Suzanne Somers had a keen eye for interior design, and she had personally decorated many parts of this house. The result was a blend of vibrant colors, opulent furnishings, and artistic touches that created a warm and inviting atmosphere. Every room in this house told a story, reflecting the couple's passion for art, style, and life in the desert. The couple frequently hosted gatherings and events, making their desert residents a hub for entertainment too. Their famous circle of friends often enjoyed the serenity and beauty of this property. The design inside the living spaces suit the desert backdrop with many stucco walls and stone flooring underfoot. There were a mix of rustic and luxury accents, such as the wood cabinets in the main house's spacious kitchen, along with top grade stainless appliances. The chef's kitchen further had a butler's pantry. The formal dining room boasts high ceilings and an opulent chandelier, along with some glamorous and vintage furnishings, as well as room for 32 guests. 
which was suitable considering the couple often hosted gatherings and events here. Not to mention, there's a main living room with wood beam ceilings and wood burning fireplace, while elsewhere a sprawling wet bar. The home features glass walls throughout, which open up to scenic views of the Mount St. Jacinto Desert. The main villa also contains Suzanne and Alan's plush master suite, city view ensuite bath, and two offices. There's also a dramatic dressing room with sparkling chandelier overhead, his and hers walk in closets, as well as a safe room. Bonuses inside this structure include a 5,000 bottle wine cellar with tasting room, multiple private terraces, and an outdoor shower. One of the multiple guest villas is called Rock House, which is a stone-built structure set in the Rocky Mountain that rises steeply behind their property, designed by legendary architect Albert Frey. It appears a lot of the compound utilizes these natural and authentic architectural elements giving the home an earthy vibe. The Rock House reportedly features a two-room suite with glass walls, a fireplace, hand-carved Balinese garden doors, a clawfoot tub, rock shower, and a peaceful meditation garden outside. Aside from the other guest villas, the property has a tented pavilion which overlooks the heated swimming pool and spa and a waterfall-fed pond. Among the many terraces to unwind and entertain, Suzanne's former property even featured an amphitheater carved from rock walls. Suzanne was also well known for being a dedicated advocate for health and wellness. Their Palm Springs home reflected this passion, featuring a state-of-the-art home gym, yoga studio, and wellness-focused amenities. Living in harmony with nature is another essential part of the Palm Springs experience, and Summer's home was a perfect example of this ethos. Suzanne and Alan also maintained a minimalistic beach house in Malibu, California, which she showed off to People Magazine in 2017. In 2007, the wildfires destroyed four homes in Malibu, including their own. So according to Suzanne, it took a long time to rebuild. This time, they kept their oceanfront abode more simple. There is a nearly all white design for the interiors, which suits the Malibu location perfectly, along with walls of glass and windows to soak in the waterfront surroundings. During her tour, Suzanne explained they don't keep a lot of stuff here, but the items they do are sentimental. The couple had a dining area set in the corner of a double height glass and a modern table with bold pink chairs. The glass slider is also open to a waterfront terrace. Suzanne also shows what's called Big Al's Bar for entertaining area she shares with her husband. The couple reportedly would meet at their home bar four to five times a week and never have more than two drinks except their big ones. That sounds like a cute way to keep your relationship alive. Out on the large balcony, there's also a plush sunbed where Alan and Suzanne like to relax. The actress added, I can't get over it, it's such a gift. There's just a lot of nature and light and beauty and I love my life. While the couple kept this Malibu retreat, in 2016 it was reported that they sold a pair of side-by-side -side oceanfront parcels in Malibu for a total of $12 million. Suzanne and Alan had bought the first piece of land in 1999 for $2.3 million and got the next one a couple years later for $2.35 million. Combined, the land spanned about a third of an acre with 190 feet of beach frontage. While Suzanne Somers has sadly passed away, her legacy and mark she left on the entertainment industry and wellness industry will live on. Not to mention Suzanne's legacy will also remain in her stunning Palm Springs properties. Well, that's gonna wrap up today's house tour. Before we go, answer this question for me. What wellness amenities would you most enjoy to have on your property and why? Let me know in the comments down below. Would it be a spa, massage tables, and full-time masseuses, saunas? I don't know, all of the above? Also, don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on your notifications so you never miss a video. Follow me on Instagram to chat and I'll see you all in another one. Bye.